Blub blub everyone, welcome. I'm Gary the Gamer. This is Xenonauts 2, the EA version. We are playing the uh, or trying to play the campaign. I got this from Hooded Horse, so thank you for that. And full disclosure and stuff. Um, we're going to look into this. I'm not sure how far we're going to play. Hopefully, as far as it as it lets us. I mean, you can play forever, but it's only 65% of the campaign in, and four out of seven UFO types, as far as I know. That's at least what the fact sheet says. Good. We started this already, but I had to redo it because the cutscene blew everyone's ears out. It's great. There is a cutscene after this, which I knew, but I also read that they changed it to adhere to the sound levels that you put in, which it didn't. So I'm going to adjust the sound uh, in a second after this cutscene, but first let's watch this. It should hopefully be fine right now. So let's do this. Still seems quite loud, but... The world teeters on the brink of nuclear war. Tensions between capitalist and communist nations are at boiling point. Every opportunity for peace has failed, as if an invisible hand inexorably steers humanity towards annihilation. We Xenonauts know the truth. The dark forces poisoning our politics are not human in origin, and we must protect our planet against this extraterrestrial threat however we can. After years spent gathering information on an enemy that few believe exist, we are finally ready to strike back. The war for our future begins now. Yeah, if only the politics were influenced by dark forces, but I fear humans are just that dumb. Unfortunately. Still, Cold War era, we have our powerful Mega Chinook that is gonna fly us into battle, and we'll see. Hey, Kazmodan, how are you doing? Don't forget, everyone, put your names in if you want to be a soldier, and we'll get you in there. And probably brutally murdered, but hopefully it's gonna be fun. So I'm gonna readjust the audio levels real quick. Give me a sec. Unfortunately, the game doesn't stay open when I do that for some reason. Um... They really are underestimating the human spirit of ruining things, don't they? I, I, apparently they do. So we have this with the introduction because, you know, I wanted that in there. We'll probably not do that with the proper campaign when the game comes out. We'll see. We'll see how much I remember. They're talking about dumbest uh, mankind again? Yeah, the, the dumbasses, Cosmodan, indeed. In Xenonauts 2, you control a secret organization attempting to protect the world from alien invasion. How nice. This short tutorial will explain the basic controls and events leading up to the start of the campaign. How nice. Thank you. This game features Nesta tooltips, which is not, which is really cool. Should be always a thing. Oh, that's so nice. And yeah, this link to proceed and then proceed. My work on our radar array is now complete. Our chief scientist that looks really out of the 70s, that guy. Um, this is our radar dish. We are apparently in Africa, which is interesting. Um, press space to continue. Theoretically, we should be now be capable of tracking any alien UFOs passing within radar range of this facility. Thank God, says the operations director. It's not exactly been easy to borrow all the things you've been asking for. Hardly my concern, well. Yeah, the fucktard scientist, right here, great. Uh, we must all achieve the impossible if we are to triumph over the extraterrestrials. Yeah, it's very inspirational. <laughs> so what's the plan now? We wait and alien, uh, sp uh, alien craft should pass within range. Oh, I, I remember this introduction. Yeah, this base is not gonna gonna last, right? Yeah, 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 I remember this. Uh, it's just a tutorial base. After you're done, you can place it anywhere on the map. Yeah, exactly, Rebels. I started my first base in Zutirol, really. S Southern Tyrol. And I couldn't stop laughing at the mental image. <laughs> Give me command, dude. Okay, Cosmo, we'll see what we can do. Um, at that point, the commander takes over. Sure. That's just radar range. Blue circle around your base indicates the radar range of the facility. UFOs flying into this area will be detected and can be attacked using interceptor aircraft. We have to decide where we will be on the map. I, I would say Europe. I mean, why not? Game speed, sure. Is that one, two, three, four? No, it isn't. Why isn't it? Ooh, this could be kind of bad. The day-night cycle. It's nice that they have that, but also in 
Hoi 4, you definitely have to take that off because if you ever play above speed 2, I think you're getting migraines and seizures from that. The two anomalies on the map signify hostile action that was raised, uh, that has raised local panic. They are not interactive, but may indicate the presence of a possibly hidden problem in the affected region. Witnesses arrested. Interesting. So they're not interactive. So they're just in informations that stuff is happening there and we can't see because we don't have radar. At the start of the game, these are usually caused by cleaner activity. However, UFOs will also generate anomalies as they fly around the map. By cleaner activity? What's a cleaner then? It's interesting that this is down here. I like the UI element here. It's really, really fun. It's like we're really watching this map in a room. UFO detected small, no, no escorts, high speed, really high speed. Uh, altitude high, heading west. I mean, for this timeline at least. Uh, for this time. I got a politician wa uh, was killed and farmers abducted for my starting events. Nice. Cleaners are the gas mask human enemies. Oh, those guys. Right. I remember. Yeah, this is not, not the same as an XCOM. This is, this is going a little bit different because there are human enemies as well, which is kind of interesting. Okay, we'll see. Uh, I haven't played uh, Xenonauts 1 a lot because it was kind of clunky. It didn't feel great. This feels a little bit better. So that I'm hoping a lot from this. Shooting it down will prevent it from causing panic in the local region and may spawn a UFO crash site tactical mission that allows you to recover valuable alien technology. Well, let's launch our interceptors. We have two, Angel 1 and Angel 2 right now. Of course, they're called Angel. Mission target UFO. We have machine guns and missiles. We literally have one missile each. Well, that's not gonna cut it. But cut it, boys. And we have the Skyhawk, which is the third thing. We can't launch them as interceptors, of course, because the Skyhawk is our Chinook that will bring our people in. This panel allows you to select the aircraft to be launched at the target. But I, uh, how do I select? Probably pre-selected. Up to three aircraft can be formed into a squadron, but you currently only have two aircraft because you suck. These have been selected for the you automatically, so press the launch aircraft button to proceed. Okay. You've all got intercepted because we're still on very high speed. Your interceptors have reached the UFO and are ready to initiate air combat. In the final game, this tutorial will explain the basics of air combat, but that part of the game is currently relatively unpolished, so we would simply all resolve the battle. <laughs> Awesome. Nice. Let's just auto-resolve then. We killed it. You've always been successfully shot down. If you were unhappy with this result, you could fight the battle manually and try to obtain a better result. So that is nice that you can still uh, redo it if you want. If you think, oh well, this didn't go well. But you wanted a quick result and wanted to see because you, you weren't, you know, you didn't want to do it. And wanted to see what they're doing. But that's that's cool. Yeah, we accept the result. Crash site. This crash UFO is likely to contain valuable alien technology. Ooh, I like alien technology. And it's persistent. A tactical mission is any battle where your soldiers engage hostile forces in turn-based combat. UFO crash sites are a common type of tactical mission that allow you to capture alien technology for your research efforts. Press the launch combat team button to launch a dropship transport aircraft. Okay. So Skyhawk or Chinook. Uh, you can launch dropships the same way. Cool. But now we need to get our people in. I'm not going to rename these guys because I think we'll not have them for long. So we'll wait until the game really starts, okay? Okay. Uh, change the soldiers and equipment. However, let's simply press the launch up. Yeah, let's just, let's just ignore all the basics, you know? Let's just do the really bullshit combat and we're good. Because we're definitely going to die. That sounds ominous. It is. Every cleaner cell in the region is deploying tactical teams. No prices for guessing where they're headed. Time for us to leave. Wonderful. Just what my research efforts needed. I suggest you recall your soldiers, Commander. We need to hold the per perimeter until everyone can get away. Yeah, we're being attacked. That's great, indeed. Try not to get killed. You seem less mediocre than your predecessor. Well, that's great. So he's the asshole. That's just... just sad that the poor scientist is the asshole the arrogant asshole even the, even at that I'm sorry ich hab dich nicht gehört 
Uh, good luck, Commander. We're counting on you. Got this chief scientist guy is a redditor. <laughs> yeah. Feels like it. So, tutorial for tactical combat, but this time base assault, which is not great. Those are always a uh, win or you, you lose the campaign thing, which is kind of eh sometimes. But sure. Or the drama llama. Uh, in the tutorial, although it will be kind of fine. Yeah, Melly is a little bit pissy with me right now because I didn't hear her, you know, ringing the bell, the doorbell. Uh, camera controls. Cool, cool, cool. We can do this. We can do this. Oh, I love this. Oh, this is so good. Uh, look at it. It actually looks quite good. Uh, I don't know what it's saying, but it's fine. Time units, yeah, eat. that's that's a little bit different to um, like XCOM, XCOM 2 or XCOM 1 because you have you don't have distinctive actions. You have time units that you can spend, however, in a turn, which is kind of interesting. Each unit in tactical combat uses time units. Yeah, refreshed each turn. Okay, sure. Number of time units a soldier has remaining is indicated in the green bar. Mm -hmm. 60 units, so like 60 seconds a turn or something. <sighs> One second, guys. Okay, we're back now. And let's continue the tutorial. Hey, here they come. Well, thank you, Commander. Form up and hold the loading bay as one person. Well, that's gonna be a lot of forming up here. You can plan movement path by left clicking anywhere. Ooh, I don't like left clicking, but sure. Okay, that's just a planning thing, which is good. I want a confirmation. The number at the end shows the time units that you need, which is interesting because, you know, we could do, we could go somewhere else, um, technically. And use more time units, or maybe here, and use way less and have more for actions like firing. And as you can see, the, uh, uh, the kind of fire, and it will explain that in a second, but the kind of fire makes a difference, whatever we do. Uh, left click again. Also shows us where uh, where we can see, which is really nice. You can rotate the soldier without moving them by right clicking. Okay. Finally, we should order the soldier to crouch. This makes the soldier harder to hit. It costs four time units, which is not that much, but could make a difference. Because look at that. Yeah, we don't we don't have the normal shot left. We only have the snapshot left, so uh, the four doesn't make much of a difference. But as you can see, if you had 21 time units, that might make a difference. Oh, it actually shows the ones you got you have left when you get when you go there. Okay, not the ones that you use. Makes more sense. So we'll just crouch. We have now spent all time units. It's time to press and turn. Can can we do that with a button? It's return. Mm, okay. Sure, and I can't. Perfect. But technically, we could use return for that. We get more soldiers. They're all coming in. All already in position. That's perfect. Even more. Yeah, see? The squad doesn't only have four people, which I always hated in XCOM. <laughs> it's only that few. But the enemies obviously have more as well. These are cleaners. These are not aliens. These are actually humans. Uh, hover your mouse over the highlight enemy. Okay, we see this guy is the one doing stuff. And we can see with a aimed shot, we can hit him with 85%. Green number on the left of the crosshair indicates the time unit cost for the shot, which is 28. Okay, uh, I need to adjust to the time unit system, guys. I'm not really versed in this. The white number on the right is the hit chance. Sure, click on the enemy. Left click, I would, get, I would assume. Good shot. Let's hope that always works out this way. Ha! <laughs> I stepped outside and lost the will to go walking. Lo last two weeks were weather wheel of fortune in Europe. Yeah, it's, it's not gonna get better, Mamilo. Next 10 years, it's only gonna get far worse. You scored a hit and inflicted 30 damage. Weapons will inflict between 50 and 200% of their damage. That's interesting. Up to 200%, depending on the part of the body they hit. Okay, if they hit the head, probably they do max damage. Your soldier has enough time units to attack again, so fire a second shot at the same target and hopefully murder that guy. I mean, this is faked. Uh, the 85% doesn't mean anything, it's actually 100% because, you know, this is a scripted thing. It's a tutorial after all, so... Kill an alien in a tactical combat mission. First contact I got as an achievement, which is weird because this is a tutorial, but sure. So this, this achievement will be for 100% players that played the tutorial. 
Hey, Unfug! Thank you for the hydration. And welcome. Okay. Let's uh, continue. Well done. Successfully killed someone. Does not have enough t uh, TU remaining time units. Uh, cannot perform further attacks. Let's press space to mark your current soldier and active and automatically select the next closest active soldier. Ah, so it's this one with space. Yeah. Okay, that's good. And now we're here. Hover over the highlighted enemy. Well, that's kind of bad because this is a out of range shot. The, quares, the square is drawn between the shooter and the target represent a, sh a shot path. Which can also intersect our units. I actually deactivate, and I hope that's still that's still there. I deactivated snapshot, or is it snapshot? Uh, Overwatch shot, uh, friendly fire. That's not going to be a thing because I find that stupid since we can't control where the enemy comes from. And if we're just unlucky, we're just shooting our own people dead. It's just... Mm. But other friendly fire, of course, is enabled. So we can shoot ourselves in the back if we're not careful. Space, space. I'm in space. <laughs> exactly. Oh, I love that scene from, from, uh, um, what's it called? From Portal 2. Such a great game. The square drawn, yeah, yeah, da, 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 green, where the weapon is within range, yep, and, and, you know, or, uh, yellow and red is probably out of range then. Orange, where the weapon is firing beyond its maximum range, weapons are, have a lower hit chance and inflict reduced damage when attacking beyond maximum range. Even reduced damage. I click the target. I don't want to. Oh, that was... Like throwing a stone. Sure. Uh, this this uh, soldier is armed with a shotgun, which is much more effective at close range. Yeah, I think I bugged this somehow and one survived. And there shouldn't be anyone surviving here. Move the soldier. We have 34 left, which is enough for a normal shot. It would also be enough for two snapshots. Most weapons have several fire modes with varying accuracy and time unit cost. The most expensive... Fire mode is selected by default when targeting an enemy, as more expensive fire modes provide more accuracy per time unit spent. However, at this range, it would be preferably to fire two shots at lower accuracy to, due to the passive shot range hit chance bonus on this weapon. Hover over the target and use right click to change the cheaper fire mode. Interesting. Right click, we can do that. Point for shot accuracy, we see it on the lower right. The hit chance 61%. Three three times. So we can hit them with three. Uh, and then attack the target. Awesome. Although the shot had a high hit chance, which 61% is not great, your soldier still missed with three shots. Or with three projectiles, rather. Bad luck will happen in this game, and part of the challenge is learning how to best... Uh, how best to mitigate it. Yeah, we know XCOM, thanks. When it does occur. In this case, simply attack the target a second time. Oh, and suddenly all three hit. Thankfully, you did not have any more bad luck. <laughs> it's not gonna happen often, guys. Uh, next soldier. Oh, that's a sniper person. Ooh. Cover. Hover over the highlighted enemy. This shot has low hit chance because there is a large intervening cover object in the shot path. Uh, full details of how the hit chance is calculated is shown at the bottom right. Yes, only the highest intervening cover value is used to reduce hit chance. That's good. It's not multiplied, which is good. Only the highest intervening cover is used to reduce hit chance on any cover or crouch units adjacent to the shooter are always ignored. Okay. So if, if someone is next to me, even if they're in front of me, as long as they're crouched, they're ignored, I think. Or not even... If they're not crouched, but they're next to me, they're still ignored. They're probably just, if they're not next to me and not crouched, then they're not ignored. Is how I read this. But we'll see about that. The, the, the game should tell us, which is good. Most terrain in XCOM, uh, XCOM, in Xenonauts 2, I'm sorry, is destructible. Something that players can use for their advantage. Uh, select the highlighted soldier by clicking on them. Free fire mode allows soldiers to target anything they want. Control. We're not using a grenade or something. We're using a shotgun. And we're using the better shot, which is weird, but sure. Got rid of it. Well done. Grades have been destroyed. Get this guy, or girl, rather. Corporal Sarah Smith. And Murderface. 
81%, way better. Boop. Dead. Uh, and now? Grenades are effective at inflicting damage and removing cover in an area. Click the button for demolition charge. 25 thermal damage. 1.5 tiles blast radius. 1.5 is weird, but okay. Uh, and throw that there. It's probably because diagonals count differently. Could be. Grenades travel in an arc, allowing them to be thrown over walls or cover objects. Sure. It's not really a grenade, it was a demolition charge, but sure. Uh, secondary weapons, your soldier lacks sufficient time units to fire their main weapon, but the pistol in their secondary slot can still be fired. So, click it. We have the pistol. That is free, which is nice. Uh, your soldier will perform attacks with a pistol, allowing them to finish off the wounded cleaners. Okay. Well, if they hit, which they wouldn't. 38%, that's pretty bad. Uh, allow your soldier to fire again. Sure, that's not gonna hit. It actually did. Wow. Game, you're cheating. Press spacebar and select the next. Okay, and now we're learning about the shot preview. Ooh, this is interesting. This is something really useful. That we will need a lot. Their shotguns relatively inaccurate at this range. We see that. Um, closing the distance and flanking the target might be beneficial. Using shot preview mode will allow us to make a decision about whether this would be worthwhile. That is so good. So we plot a move. Shot preview mode will show you a hit chance and time units for taking a shot. Not here. I need to press a button, right? To see the values, hover over the highlight enemy, hold shift key. Ah, there it is, see? Now it switches. So 20% or 93, which is definitely preferable. Uh, proceed, click the target and shoot. While, sh while the preview mode is active. So if I do this, she shoots. No, he shoots. Corporal Alex Gabris shoots directly. But this way he will move and then shoot, which is really nice. I don't like that it... Briefly switch to the without uh, moving. But sure, you have eliminated all hostile units. Yay! We're so good, guys. I need to click it, unfortunately. And there are more, of course, because we're... Oh, God. There are a lot more. There's too many of them. Fall back to the next room. Sure. Okay, you should move there. Well, lose a soldier in tactical combat mission. Well, you know, the good thing is the first of many achievement right here. That you can't see, it's fine. But the good thing about that is... You got them out of the way already, you know? You killed the guy. Fine. It's a tutorial. It doesn't affect the campaign. And you already got that achievement out of the way. It's great. <laughs> doesn't make it that bad. Uh, rip to Garrus. Yeah, that's the first of many, indeed. Your soldier has just been killed by enemy overwatch fire. Or oh, who would have thought? If a unit ends its turn with enough time units remaining to fire its weapon, it may then perform overwatch fire during the enemy turn. Suppressing an enemy will prevent overwatch fire and flashbangs are a good way to generate suppression. Select the flashbang to throw it at the highlighted tile. Oh yeah, that's nice. Flashbang! Boop. All of these enemies have been suppressed. Suppression immediately removes all time units from the selected unit. That is really good. Which prevents them from being able to overwatch fire. We can't see overwatch, unfortunately. We don't know if this guy is overwatching. That's something you get in XCOM, though. Suppressed units will also only recover 50% of their normal time units the following turn. That is also pretty strong. Uh, we don't see any information about these guys, is the thing. We literally don't know anything. What they're doing, how many time units they have left, nothing. So you have to... You have to do this for good measure, actually, which is kind of mm, weird. I'd like to have more information about that. But maybe later there is a way to do that, I don't know. An alternative way to avoid losing soldiers to overwatch fire is to make them harder to hit. Each tile of smoke reduces the hit chance of any shot passing through it. 
So, smoke grenades are an excellent way to protect your soldiers. Select smoke grenade and throw it at the highlighted tile. Which is weird that we're covering them in smoke. And that stunned my own guy. Good work. All enemies are either out of time units suppressed or screened by smoke. I don't think that was what we should have done. Move your soldiers to the highlighted tile. Oh, your soldier. Okay. Regroup at the next... This didn't even work. I, I moved them there. Uh, we need to hold them off until the evacuation is complete. Yes. Oh, that was it. You are now ready to take on the alien invaders in the full campaign. Yeah, you know, you say that. You're saying that, game, but are we really? <laughs> I mean, the really important part from this, as, as someone who has played this before, well, not this uh, exactly, necessarily, but, you know, those kind of games, is that you have the shot preview, which is really good. And the other thing is you cannot see what your enemy might be doing. So if they're overwatching or not. So you can't make an informed decision about it, unfortunately. Which is kind of sad. So those are the two big things that we can take from this. Ah, oh, Commander. Good of you to finally make an appearance. Well, great. Hello, guy. Apologies for the delay. Oh, that's... Is that us? This place isn't exactly easy to find. Yes, I believe that's rather the point. Commander, glad to see you made it. Welcome to our backup facility. I had a command room and a cache of emergency supplies installed a while back. No getting around the fact that our new home is a derelict nuclear bunker full of 60s era junk though. And we're in the 80s, I guess? Better call reinforcements. Yeah, I think that base is gone. Uh, hope you're fine with cold showers, cold food and well cold everything. Uh, you don't last long in the military if you're not. That's not wrong. What's our status regarding a cleaners? Relocating borders some time, but they're still after us. If we don't find a way to eliminate them soon, they'll find us and start attacking here too. But they're not even our biggest problem. Yeah, see, that's, that's the thing. The cleaners are just annoying, but they're not the real problem. Indeed, my recent studies suggest one's estimated mass is factored in, extraterrestrial activity appears to follow a mathematically predictable pattern. More precisely, exponential growth. Well, that is really bad. And we're nearing the end of the curve. So they're already everywhere? In plain English? Ah. The UFO arriving in our skies will soon begin to increase rapidly in size and or quantity. So you're not at the end of the curve. You're at the end of the of the build-up of the curve. So now it's the exponential growth phase. Well, well, not the, you know, the getting there anymore. I doubt it will be long until the aliens launch a full-blown evasion. Uh, invasion. Yeah, evasion. A full-blown evasion. They just evade us. It's great. I don't like the sound of that. How long do we have? Weeks. Oh, God. Couple of months at most. I suggest you make the most of it. Yeah, and I know what the uh, the doomsday machine in this game is, so that's gonna be fun. Please choose the location of your starting base. So where should we place, guys? Should we do Europe? Perfectly in Vienna. We <laughs> just take over the city. I mean, that's a good cover. Thinking about it. So we can even even have parts of Africa covered, which is kind of nice, and also some of Russia. Um, if we go near the Alps, I do like the Alps actually for that. Should we go here? Sure, why not? Let's go here. Choose base name, Europe. Sure. Let's call it Europa. Why not? Normally it should be Alpha, actually, but it's fine. Hey, Commander. Seems like the covert stage of the invasion is coming to an end. So I'm officially handling over control of our organization to you. I'll still be here running day-to-day -day operations, but right now we need someone with military experience in charge. Well, why am I in charge then? Okay. You're... Opa. Mm, kind of. It's Erp. 
We're an herb. A quick primer on what you need to know. We're, su we're in surprisingly good shape. Oh, don't, don't forget, guys. If you want your name in, make it make it so, you know, put your name in the game. Uh, quick primer on what you need to know. We're in surprisingly good shape, given recent events. Are we really? We just lost the base, guys. That's not good shape. We got the helicopter away with all our civilian staff, our su chief scientist included, although naturally... Couldn't we have left him? Just a suggestion there. Uh, although naturally he spent the entire flight complaining that we'd rescued his lab assistant instead of his research notes. Yeah, exactly. See, that's why we should have left him and taken his notes. Maybe some of his lab assistants could have done the work, you know. Please resist the temptation to cause him bodily harm. I'll try. The only thing worse than having him in charge of research division would be not having him in charge of research division. Yeah, I get that one. The man is quite literally a genius and absolutely essential for, uh, to the war effort. Sure. Your best chance of getting him to shut up would be to start recovering the research samples and specimen he wants. I.e. find some aliens, kill them, take their stuff, but I'll let you figure out the specifics for that particular topic. Yeah, until we have to take him alive, that's gonna be bad. The eventual goal is to learn enough about the extraterrestrials to work out how to defeat them, but reverse engineering their technology might help, even the odds in the meantime. It will. There'd be poetic justice, uh, justice in using their own weapons against them. True. I'll take care of the politi political situation, provided you keep global panic to a reasonable level. Yeah, see, that's always a problem. My agents can't operate if a region gets too paranoid, which means no funding and alien influence goes unopposed. Which is bullshit, in my opinion. Because what, should, what they should actually do is nuke themselves or some, some nonsense, but not just... Oh yeah, we're now... We're so panicky about the aliens, take us now. It's just so stupid. Lose too many and I won't be able to stop tension spilling over into nuclear war. Best get started, eh? There's coffee in the pot. Great, accept the report because I have no choice anyway. New research project available for study. It's combat vehicles. That's really nice. Let's assign it. The door was closed for a reason, Commander. Oh, shut up. That guy. Uh, 250 bucks per hour. Okay, we have 2.5 million bucks in funds. Combat vehicle is the only thing we can do. It takes five days. That's not much. Development of robotic combat vehicles that can be deployed on tactical missions to provide fire support for our soldiers. Not only that, I think they also provide cover. And also they're quite strong, so... And, and hard to kill, so that's gonna be good. So let's do that. Thank you. Um, go back to the, to the Geoscape. We have a... Can even cover parts of Iceland. That's pretty nice. I mean, screw the rest, right? Who needs China and, and the US and South America? We'll get that at some point with more bases. Even though that's a little bit micromanagey to have multiple bases around, it just makes more sense than just one in XCOM 1. It, I liked it better in XCOM 2 where you actually got a ship from the aliens that you flew around in as a mobile base. That does make a lot of sense. I don't like... Oh god, this is... Oh god. That's really bad. Did I hear micromanagement here? Yeah. Isn't that always the case? Oh, and the game is permanently running. I don't like that. How about a pause function? Oh, it's F1 to F4 now. Okay, that's interesting. Um, what do we do? Main base. Okay, this pauses it. On the, only on the Geoscape it doesn't. We have two fighters still. We have our helicopter, or Chinook. We have... The storeroom, access lift, living quarters, a laboratory, and a workshop, and a generator, and also radar, which is very important. We don't have training capacity, so we can build new things, and these are actually pushing the, uh, each other, I think. Large elevator that ferries cargo and personnel to and from the surface, it is always the first building placed when you construct a new base, and it generates a small amount of power. If your base falls under attack, your soldiers will rally at the access lift to begin defensive operations. But they also, these boost each other. Makes sense, the storeroom and more living quarters close to each other boosts them? Boosts their effectiveness for weird reasons? Doesn't make any sense to me, but sure. We have 5.7 thousand kilometers detection range. No defense strength, so we don't have anti-air guns. Research speed 25% increased. Engineering output 5. Or is that just 25%? That's kind of bad then. Survival chance is 15%. That's not much. 
And 1.5 HP per day. How much? How many HP does does a soldier have? 100. Training rate four and training efficiency zero percent. And I hear thunder. I don't like that. I hope that just goes away. Uh, we did the research. What's engineering doing? Dark comrade. What? Why do we have a Russian here? <laughs> Is that allowed? Uh, we have some engineering. 250 bucks per hour. We can make defender armor. I don't know if we need it yet. Produce one suit of defender armor for a soldier to wear on tactical missions. And we'll get that back if a soldier dies. So that's good. We could also make a new aircraft if we have the hangar space. Whatever we need. Uh, obviously the Skyhawk, if we have enough people that can go on missions, we can do two missions in the same time uh, as usual. Or than usual. Soldiers. That is what we want. So... We have a sniper, Corp Corporal Ike Gomez. We will rename you if we can. Can we? I don't want to... I, I want to... I want to rename them. Can I rename them? These three are unassigned. Oof, look at that. Oh god, some of them have 38 HP. 39 HP. Strength, accuracy, time units. They have deferring time units. Oh, that's gonna be... That's gonna be really bad. Don't know what RFL is or BR BRV. Ah, bravery, okay. Okay, less morale loss. So Rio Asano is really brave. Very nice. And also Lena Duda. We're, we're, weird name. Strength is used to calculate the carrying capacity of a soldier. Okay, many grenades and stuff. And recoil. So, like, Olivia can have an LMG. While Rio probably shouldn't have that. Probably better with a shield and a pistol because no recoil. Or really, really little recoil. Accuracy also plays a role, of course. Time units make sense. Uh, what was this? Reflexes. Used to determine when reaction fire, also known as overwatch fire, occurs. Units with higher reflex are less likely to trigger reaction fire. To trigger reaction fire and then units with lower reflexes. Interesting. So, Olivia will always trigger this, while Lena probably doesn't. Oh god, that's definitely gonna, gonna murder us. We have two people living capacity, so we can have two more. We have no training capacity. We might want to get some. We have four defender armor. How many people go into a helicopter? I think a little bit more. Although the defender armor, I think, takes strength from them. You're the shield person. Which is weird. Where's the important stuff? Did you find the renaming button? I Yeah, here it is. Um, so does someone explicitly want to be a shield person? Harry wants to be a character. Uh, Mimilo wants to be something not melee. We don't, we literally don't have melee weapons, so I guess anything counts. I would guess the shield is melee as well. Uh, do your job, you're saying. And Erebus doesn't say what he wants to be. Uh, Unfu wanted the hydration. I did that. Thank you. Kazmodan wanted to be command. However, that's a thing. I'm just gonna give you an assault person with really shitty accuracy. Yeah, that's gonna be great. Oh my god, the accuracy is the worst. Castle Dan, you're gonna be Joe Reed with a really nice porn beard. The porn stash. It's gonna be great. You're gonna have a you're gonna have steel plates. Can be worn inside the soldier's tactical vest, granting additional armor. Oh, that's nice. Interesting. You do have defender armor? Oh, okay. Well, that's nice. Uh, is it... Let's do it. Cosmodon read. I'm not sure what it shows. We'll have to look at that after the first mission. We'll see. You're United States now. Porn stash. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> I'm back. Had to fetch something for my father. Traffic is so bad. Oh, I, I bet. Welcome back, Mimilo. So you, Mimilo, you said something not melee. Well, we don't have melee. It's literally anything but melee, so... 
Any special wishes? Um, we have a shield woman that needs to be taken. This is... You know what? I'm going to put a cut in here and we'll do this off screen. And we'll be right back. Okay, people. We're back. And we have named most of our soldiers. At least the ones in the Skyhawk. For now, it's Mimino Asano, Easy Lunde, uh, Unfug Echo, Sophia Nicht, Red Harvest, Linde Gamerit. People wanted Gary Linde in there, uh, but we don't have enough space. Kasmodan, Drakar, and Harry Dresenden. And also. Oh, you're not named. Georgia Anastos is not named. Okay, we have to name her real quick. And I'm gonna name her. Yeah, you weren't named. Um, who can I take from Discord? Give me a sec. Just someone I see. Female would be good, so it's Zapsy. Let's just call her Zapsy Anastos. It's gonna be fine. From Greece! Uh, be sure most of these people will die before the first, uh, or in the first mission, so... That's gonna be fun. Let's just go on until something happens, because for now we can't do much. We need to fight some aliens to, act, or some, some people to actually do something. <clears throat> we also have some very low-hitting people, that's not great. Alien research team. An alien research team has been cited gathering data in the local region. This presents our organization an opportunity to eliminate them and recover the equipment for study. In a desert, elimination mission, three days remaining. It will reduce the panic if we win in Latin America. Uh, okay, that's far away. Can we even reach that? I mean, let's try it. Let's go there. Alien research team are gonna murder the faces, and we have nine people in here and three in here. You know what? I'm just gonna take this guy. That that doesn't look like me at all. Sadly, it's not getting well. Probably this is the closest one, but still no. Sure, I'll take this one. It's fine. There, I'm in there as well, guys. I'm just not in the team right now, but I bet I will be there very soon. Just launch the dropship and we're gonna go. Ooh, I don't like that you don't have anything with you. That's kind of bad. And there's thunderstorm, uh, th thunderstorm brewing. It's great. Things are going well. How much is this? Two. We can actually have more. Why? Why don't we just take more? It doesn't doesn't make any difference. So. This costs us uh, six. Yeah, we can't do that. We wouldn't have any of these then. And uh, we will have some more shots. Since it's low accuracy anyway. Ooh, that's far away though. That we can't even reach that with one tank and come back. I really hope that works. Panic here is 25 at the moment. Here's 27, 27, 27, 25. Why are these already bigger? Okay, probably because some things happened. Farms reporting UFO sightings near Seattle, North America disappeared without a trace. News crew covering clean activity arrested on false charges near Tripoli. Prominent scientists studying unexplained phenomena abducted while driving near Ulan, Bata, Asia Pacific. Okay. Okay, let's just go a little bit quicker because we can't do shit anyway until this happens. Ah, the good old high spirit of our commander. <laughs> Commence a tactical battle. Yeah, I just know how good I am in these. The Danish? The Danish are dead? What? What, Erebus? We'll see how this goes. This, this is going to define the campaign. If you already lose this mission, we're kind of screwed. So... Let's hope the alien scientists are not really well escorted or armed or anything. An alien research team has been sighted gathering data in uh, the local region. This presents our organization opportunity to eliminate them and recover their equipment for study. Eliminate all hostile units or we are eliminated. Perfect. 
will probably will be eliminated. You're almost on the top of the energy signals, Commander. It is highly likely there are extraterrestrial life forms nearby. Let's hope they weren't expecting a fight. Eliminate all resistance and secure the area. So we do know about aliens existing. And as you can see, we, we need to uncover the map before we actually know what's going on. So we don't see the map. Well, the guy you picked is from Denmark, a fictional country. Ah, I see. So who's the guy we are looking at? Our sniper first. Yeah, that's probably not the ideal. Let's get the shield guy out there. Problem is... Yeah, this should be fine. Although you're a shield person, do you really need cover? Protective items held in the primary slot, which provide the user additional armor. They will intercept any protector striking the soldier in a frontal 180 degree arc, but grant no protection to the rear. Soldiers can use uh, one-handed weapon by carrying a shield by placing it in a, their secondary slot. Pistols or melee weapons are a good choice. Oh, there are melee weapons. Interesting. Any damage absorbed by a shield will reduce their health, and the shield is destroyed when this reaches zero. Okay. So that has 80 health. Any excess damage will be applied to the soldier. Awesome. So, but we'll, we'll just go out flailing. Enemy spotted. We found something. What are you? I can't really zoom, which is weird. This is just changing, yeah, our height level. Is there a way to zoom? Not really. I'd like to see this guy a little bit better. So we have no chance of doing shit here at the moment, so... But we, we should be safe. It can't really hit us. So maybe we can snipe it from here? Can we not go out here? Yes, we should be. Should be able to. Nothing here, just a civilian. Which seems fine. You have a chance of hitting. You have 23 left, you can't do shit. So this should give us cover. I, I don't know if this... I mean, I, I guess this indicator means cover. I don't know how much or anything. So this is 32. If we... Yeah, we could even... We could even crouch. Which should make us less hittable. 20% harder to hit. Together with this, that should make us a little bit better off here. And we could still shoot the guy, but there is stuff in the way. And we are ammo limited, so we need to be careful here. Can we instead just do an overwatch? Focus mind ability allows the unit to gain 30 more rounds, spending 6% of the maximum time units. So overwatch is just, I end my turn right now. And I have enough left to do this. And that's automatically overwatching, right? Toggle overwatch allows you to allow gray or disallow red. Ah, I see. Okay, so we will overwatch with this. By default, soldiers will attempt to perform the most TU expensive attack with their primary weapon. If the primary is not usable, they will attempt to uh, attack with secondary weapon. So we can't have the 39, unfortunately, the full burst. We can only do the little burst fire. Okay, so I think we'll crouch. Okay, you... If you go here, you still have an overwatch shot left. And I'm also gonna crouch, of course. It's kind of weird with that monstrous shield. That should be fine. I don't think this guy can reach here and flank us. I'm not sure... No, it's, it's said 180 degrees, so this line needs to be crossed. This, this line where we're standing on needs to be crossed. Okay, so that's fine. Uh, I still would like to zoom in a bit. No, this is not zooming. Let me see, is there a zoom? Just look at that real quick. Um, tactical combat. Camera, rotation, level up, zoom in, page to. Oh god. Alt scroll, scroll wheel, okay. Uh, what? 
not how it works. Am I am I stupid, guys? I'm probably stupid. Alt scroll wheel down, alt scroll wheel up. Is that not the alt button that I need to press? It apparently is not. I don't like this as page down and page up, so we're gonna change that real quick. Sorry guys, but it has to happen. Um, let's do this... Is... You know, C and V would be fine. C is already crouch. V and B? That seems okay. QE... Yeah, V and B are fine, so let's do that. Uh, zoom in is V, and this is B, and we're good. Thank you. That's a little bit better. That's not zooming in, guys. That's zooming out. This is weird. Okay. It's kind of mislabeled, but fine. Doesn't matter. We can see now a little bit better, and we can see this little guy. Don't know what that is. I, I, I guess it's a scientist of them. Probably only with a pistol or something. Um, we need to form up somewhere. But we are not in the best position for this. Oh, this is a shotgun. Oh, this is gonna be bad. That's fine. I cannot crouch then, though. But we need to get close with them. And there could still be... No, there can't be stuff here. Unless there's literally standing, someone standing there. Uh, what we could do is put you here. Later. Rifle person. We shouldn't cluster up too, too much. That might be bad. How about... Yeah, you go there. Just so I can get you around, hopefully. Yeah, I can. Good. Oof, I'm so inexperienced with this. It's rather garbage. That is fine. I can also see more people. That is always a risk, but that's okay. Crouch down. They are all too far away to fire at them unless we use our sniper, which might be a thing. Oh, 37. It's not a good shot. Well, it is. It's actually a, a sniper rifle scoped. 48%, 0% because there's literally a wall in the way. Well, let's let's take this shot at least. I mean, good try. It, it did, you know, go uh, through the car and into the fence, but that's okay. That's at least something. Do we still have... Oh, you have four left to crouch. Perfect. Didn't even think about that. Um... We're not we're not overwatching with the med kit, guys. That's weird. Ah, we're blocking this now, though. So um, I'm just gonna form up here. You're gonna go here, and you're also gonna crouch. Should have enough for some Overwatch shots. Can we make it here? The thing is, then you might be able to shoot us. This doesn't give us cover, though. At least not much. And there still might be stuff here which we don't know yet about. Which will be bad for especially you. Maybe we should cover into that direction. With you. Go down. You still have a 36 shot. As Overwatch. And uh, you're gonna come... Wow, that's all not gonna be great. Huh? It's fine, you're not gonna... You're not gonna shoot. Oh, he had an overwatch. Well, that's bad. But that's his overwatch. Not gone. There's another one. Great. Go here, finally. Thank you. And now, crouch. Yeah, that person might die, for sure. Might die for sure. Yes, that's how it works. Uh, can we reach here? Minus three. This seems to give us some cover. 
Ooh, does this give us cover because we're sitting in a bush? I don't have any inquiry methods, you know? It, it seems to give us some cover. Sure, let's go there. Oh, this is a this is a bad position, but yeah, let's let's try it. I mean, we're just we're trying here. It's not gonna go great. Let's end the turn. Time to die. Aliens are shooting civilians, I bet. That is a pistol. That's good for us because that shouldn't do too too much damage. That is good from us. That's a really shitty shot, and he comes out of it. Oh, and really shitty shot. That's why we are crouching, by the way. Everyone is shooting garbage here. And that guy is really getting close. And another one around the freaking... Oh, God. <laughs> one shot. Kill. <laughs> and another great shot of theirs. And we're dead. Perfect. One of your units has suffered a bleeding wound and will suffer 5 HP of damage at the end of each turn until it is healed. Using a medkit on the soldier will automatically heal all bleeding wounds in addition to restoring lost HP. Cool. Um, and we have two of those. That's great. And we have one here. Another one here. One here and one here. Oh god, that's a lot of people and we already lost two. Um... This, this is probably a kill. How much damage do you do? 40. So we could probably kill you with someone else. Like with you. It's only 17%? That's kind of garbage. Why is it that bad? Uh, small size is really, really shitty. Okay. Uh, that's 31. He could move. He probably doesn't have anything left. So, and we also oh, probably can't even heal you. Accuracy does matter very much. I mean, of course it does. <laughs> Unless it's a shotgunner, but you know. Surely the most tactical moment of all time. Minus 40 from fence in the way. Mm hmm. It's not. Yeah, it is minus 40%, actually, yeah. Um, this is a f this is a full shot, but still kind of garbage. And it's it's the soldier accuracy is actually good, no move bonus, tactical module gives another four, but then we reduce it to forty percent of that because of shot accuracy, which is kind of I don't understand yet. Also, range modifier goes on top of that, and then but that. Times 0.4 is just really bad. Target size is really crap, so we reduce that 10% again. And it's also weird that it sometimes says plus 20% and then minus 0.1, which is minus 10%. Right? Or am I am I not misunderstanding that? Fence is on their side. It didn't stop their bullets. Well, it did. It actually got destroyed while they were shooting, but it didn't matter because someone came around the corner and shot this guy in the face, whoever that was. Uh, we could try to heal him, but I think we should get rid of the problem here first. 21, not gonna be good enough. 30 would be good enough, but would still give him cover, I guess. I still think this is the best shot I can get against this guy. And even with 10 bullets, maybe 2 hit with this. Or maybe 3 with a little bit of luck. It's not great. This is better. This is better. But there is our soldier in the way, which is really bad. And here's just the rock. It's quite weird. Would need some nested info boxes about it. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of weird, isn't it? Because minus point ten, uh, minus point, yeah, point one zero is actually ten percent. Or is it? It can't be. It can't be that small of a of a thing. Oh, I think how it works is shot accuracy one point three, and that gets point one reduced, so it's only times one point two, and then it's also multiplied by 0.6 so we're actually getting 1.2 times 0.6 
which is 70% or something. It's kind of weird. And these 70%, so 0 0.7, will be then applied to the accuracy plus the no move bonus plus the tactical module, which is 109 times 0 0.6 or 0 0.7. That could be about 65%. Maybe that's how it works. It's kind of weird. But we're not getting a better shot. The no move bonus is important for the, for the sniper boy. So this way or another. But this could... I, I don't think we can shoot her in the back because she's crouched, which is really good. But she's still in the way. So it still makes this shot really bad, even though it should be really good. It's about the same as, as shooting through the rock. So, actually, our positioning is kind of absolute utter garbage. Is what I'm getting from this. And you probably didn't... Wasn't, weren't protected. And it's also bad cover because it's, it, it's half cover. This is full cover, I guess. Even though it doesn't tell me anything about it, which I kind of don't like. You could flashbang them. One of them, at least. And shoot the other. I have no idea what I'm doing here. Great. That's bad. Fuck spitting creature. Um, okay. How are we dealing with this is the problem. They have better... This doesn't let me shoot. They have a better placement is the problem. I mean, I can't go here and then shoot this guy, but I'm still vulnerable against this guy, so I probably should go here, but then this guy can shoot me. If I go here, I can shoot him, but I'm not sure if I'm close enough. But I'm gonna try, because that's all I can do right now. And... okay. That's fine. 6%. I actually killed him. First kill. They got two, we got one. I guess that's fine then. <laughs> Oh, wow, you can actually go far. And still shoot. Not twice, though. Actually, here you could. Um, yeah, we'll have to try it. Oh, that bastard's still there. Yes, I know. It's fine. I wanted to go here, though. Did I really lose time units for moving around? Didn't think that would be a thing. Well, that was nice. Still gonna crouch. Yeah, I do need time units to... That is... that The tutorial didn't say that, that I need time units to um, change my direction. It makes sense, though. It makes sense. Um, can I hit you back here? 36%. There's a lot of shit in the way. Otherwise, that would be a really easy shot. You is just the, f uh, the 40% of the fence and another 40... And it doesn't say that in the lower right what's in the way. If I reduce the fence to nothing with a grenade or something, or just shoot the fence. That could actually work. Yeah, see I was afraid of that, but that's fine. For the for the moment. Um How we deal with this guy, I have no idea. We have a smoke grenade. I will smoke him. How can I get you in the fight? Probably not through here, but probably you can be here. When I move you up. I'm gonna move him up. You could smoke this guy. That should stun him as well as what we've seen. So this guy would be kind of safe from there. And this guy should have a really bad shot percentage, even if he's standing up. 
And this cost us almost all our points. But I guess it's good. Let's just try it. Stun 1 and stun 4. Have no idea what that does. But sure. You crouch. Have no idea if this guy can hit us really. Hope not. Um, you need to move here I'd say. You also have a smoke. Grenade. You could now move here. Even though it's bad cover it's better than nothing. That's 44%. We might take that actually. That's still 66%. But you could shoot him in the back, I think. That's what the red one is indicating. Even though he's crouched. It's not the greatest. What if you go here? You have 30 left. That's enough to hit at least. Or to try. Let's try it. Shoot him in the face. Yeah, work. Perfect. Good. Um, sniper boy. Take the shot. I don't care. It's fine. Yeah, was a good chance that that happens. Okay, um... You are not done yet. You could still try and hit this thing. Or I'll leave you... I'll leave you. Yeah, you'll just crouch and you'll try to... You're done. You're done, unfortunately. I wish you could crouch. You're absolutely done. And you're crou... You're not crouched. Crouch. You don't have a med kit, so we can't heal you, and... The problem... You know what I what I don't like? I want to see what ha what's happening here. Is this soldier still alive? Can I still do something for them? Did they already bleed out? Are they instantly dead? It told me something about bleeding out, but they, they are not bleeding out. They're dead, right? This is dead. Zapsi is dead already, and Sophia is dead already. Oh, you. Uh, that's good. Oh, I forgot about you. Hmm, this is not great. Behind the grass? Doesn't seem quite wise, but we need to get closer. Somehow. Just run to the rock at the right and shoot the shotgun if we have left. Well, we have none left. Both shotgunners are dead. Shotgunners were the first to die, so... There's that. Um... I'm just gonna go here and crouch. It's probably really bad to do that, but it's fine. We're learning. Let's get rid of this. We have one overwatch shot. Whatever these little bastards do. That's the shield. That's useless. That guy wasn't stunned. I don't know what that means. Apparently, or maybe he has accuracy problems because of that. That is the shield gone and that's him gone. He's suppressed, oh god. That was... Really bad friendly activity. Oh, it's just civilians, I guess. And Red Harvest is panicking. Perfect. Well, F off then. Welcome, Gary, to Gary Gamerit's... Uh, Gary the Gamerit's amazing stream extravaganza. Hey, Terrible Hamster, how are you doing? What? Why? I don't know. You were shot twice. Uh, your shield... Actually, three times. Your shield got destroyed, and now you are almost dead, and that means you're panicking. Although, you're actually quite good on morale. Increasingly likely to suffer a morale break and negative effects such as panicking, fleeing, or berserking. Awesome. So, you're apparently not brave at all, Corporate Red Harvest. Well, I don't think you can do much because of panic. I don't know what it does. It doesn't show me. Yeah, you're panicking. That's great. See, that is what Xenonoth always... ...was missing, in my opinion. Always. It needed information, and that's what we had in XCOM, and not here, unfortunately. I wish we had more information. We could throw them... No, we couldn't. We have, we have zero. You're panicking. You're absolutely, absolutely useless. Perfect. That's how I want my soldiers. Oh, actually, you have a shotgun. So I could just go here and shotgun him in the face. But I'm exposed here, so we need to get rid of that dude. Although, this is a better shot now. Uh, no, it's not, because you obviously... Goddamn, why does the stupid AI always know how to use... How to make perfect use of every bit of cover? It's ridiculous. Can you move here? No. We could have you move here. 
not leaving you with much, unfortunately, because you don't have any time units at all. Whatsoever, but at least there's only the fence in the way. Just taking the shot is important, so let's do that. Wow, instant headshot. That's what I want to see, girl. That's what I want to see. So, Lin Gary Linda is actually doing good work. As the only one. Perfect. 15%, not great. Can we flank him? We could make our way over there and try to flank him. It's almost, almost enough. Uh, let's go... No, you're still a problem, and I don't know if I can get rid of you. I could wait, but I'm not gonna. Problem is Red Harvest is exposed, so if, if this guy can can shoot again, he is going to die. 100%. So you're sitting there. Um, I would be exposed here. That's 55% chance. Because of one smoke tile. Otherwise, it would be far, far better. Bar pathetic. <laughs> Fight me in real life. Mm, we need to go deeper, deeper into the salty mines, or we will. Oh no. Anyway, also, hamster, what the fuck is that, that emote? Yeah, that emote is weird. Purely cold blooded, purely blush. Okay. Don't know that person, but. Interesting. Um, but these two are the only ones we know of at the moment. Did we already use the sniper? No, we still have you. Oh, that's a 100% shot. That is what we need. Sniper boy. Make him die. Yes. Ah, cause an enemy unit to fall unconscious. Oh. Oh, they're just unconscious. Well, that's good, because that's a specimen we could take take with us. Okay, so we only have one left that could be troublesome. That's actually a shot. It's a bad shot, but it's a shot. Oh, God, but there could be others here. Um, that's a really shitty shot, so that's not going to work. But I, I don't want to move, because... Wherever I move, this guy can just shoot me. And this is better cover, actually. So let's stay down and let's wait for him to come. You know what? Flashbang him. 55, 62%. 88% to get him here. So that will definitely flashbang him. And then he can't do shit. He's suppressed. Yep, he has half the half the points next time, so that's good. Oh, I love this. How smooth this is. It's great. Um, you're done. You're just useless, and you'll probably die. So, expect it. Expect it, please. Uh, you can't hit him. I mean, I can take the thirty-seven percent. The question. Yeah, you didn't even shoot yet, so I'm gonna. It's the only target we have. We just need to make sure that something happens here. That was a single shot. You can have another. Why is that the best one you could do? You could actually do the 26. What's the difference? Oh, it's only 11%. 16, 26, 37, 11. But three of them. Yeah, we're shooting like kings. Mm. There are stray shots as well, guys, so we need to be careful. I could just throw a grenade into this into their face. Thirty six, it's perfect. Fudge it, we're experimenting. Eat that grenade, little sucker. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. Uh, I think you're done. You have an overwatch shot at very least, so you can do something if they come close. I can't do anything with you. Can't do anything with you. Can't do anything with you. Do we have another shot? No. Unfortunate. You have a smoke grenade, though. Let's try to protect 
Oh, I can't. I would have liked to protect Red Harvest with this. Just have some smoke here so he has to shoot through the smoke. But he, he doesn't have that much this time. So... Let's end the turn. Let's see what he does. Hopefully he doesn't kill Red Harvest, which would be very easy. Wow! Got rid of the cover. Got the shot back and he's done. That was lucky. Red Harvest, you're still alive. I don't know how. I don't know why, but you're alive. Uh, let's go here. Oh, he still has that cover, though. You. You can reach here, but you can't fire, which is kind of garbage. Yeah, you can't reach a position to fire, fire from, so let's go here with you. And try to keep you around for the mo- Actually? Maybe you can fire with your secondary. <laughs> Am I still alive? Yes, Harry, you are. You're the sniper. You are the most likely to be alive after this mission if not everyone dies. Uh, I can't fire around this, which is kind of garbage, but sure. Let's just stay down for the moment. Uh, and we'll just surround this guy. That would be enough for a snapshot or whatever. You are in trouble, girl. And you need to get there is the problem. But the other problem I have is there could be stuff there. That's oh, a 12 out of 14. It's enough for you to shoot someone. Because I would like to have her have the cover. You know what? Let's let's choose Sniper Boy. And try to sniper this dude. 50-50. Actually worked. Perfect. We lost two people in this. That's not good. And they're literally just dead dead. Well, Red Harvest could actually... You know what? You'll, you'll take this uh, medkit here, please. You could actually take their shotgun as well. So, how do we do this? How can I look at the ground? Here. Uh, look at this. Subsea. <laughs> Just mangled corpse. Ooh, you could actually take the ballistic rifle. How much time does that need? I don't know. You have the weight, so that's not the problem. Um, you'll put this away. This doesn't take any time. You put this in here. That is insufficient. Okay, that's great. Um, at least have this. Nope, you don't have any TU to move these. But you have a new primary gun, Red Harvest, and you're not dead yet, so... God damn it, soldier. It doesn't say how much it needs. Oh, there. Can I abort this? No, I can't. Perfect. So that is done. At least you can crouch again. On the dead corpse. You know, which is normal. You could be healed by this guy. Oh, this guy, which is Mimilo. I'm sorry, Mimilo. Mimilo, how about you heal uh, our Red Harvest here? That's at least a little bit. A little bit healing for you. Okay, Red Harvest, you're done. Mimilo, you're done. You need a better spot. You'll cover around here. Because we're still not finished. This is going on. I'm not even sure if this guy awakes at some point, but I, I guess it, he doesn't. So we might have a live specimen to bring back. Uh, now the question is, where do we go? I'd say in this direction, so... It's all bad cover. You go here. Just hope there's no one up there. Doesn't seem there is. That is good. You watch that corner. Uh, what you could actually do is go here and you look into that direction just in case. Just in case there come, there's someone coming around, around the corner. We at least know about it before they shoot us in the back. Uh, you're about done. Yeah, you can't do much more. You can run there though. So let's do that and let's crouch. And we'll see what we're doing. You're done. You're done. You're done. Uh, you could move, theoretically. 
No, you can't. So let's just end the turn here. Always use the other as meat shield. Only way to get any worth out of them. Yeah, Subsea's teabagging her ally. <laughs> oh god. It's the first mission, guys. It's great. It's going great. I don't want to cut in here. I know the part is a little long, but you know it's the A release, so let's just enjoy. Um, yeah, you're also very, very, very dead. But we'll probably move here for the moment. I mean, I could reach here. It is cover in, in all these directions as long as no one is behind us, so... Oh, this is, this is agitating me. We can't see the back of us, you know. That is making me so nervous. Let's just be bold, Kasbodan. Still can't see anymore. You'll get some cover, at least. From Izzy. Stun damage. One of the units that suffers stun damage? Usually from smoke inhalation. Okay. It's shown by yellow numbers appearing above the head. And total stun damage. It's also there. Is represented. There's stun damage. She's so low on hit points. She can be one-hitted so easily. By a small yellow bar along the bottom of the HP bar, if accumulated stun damage or ever exceeds current hit points, that unit will fall unconscious. I see. And she doesn't have much, so that's great. Easy is gonna die so hard. This is the worst. Um, red harvest. You know, you'll look at the bot uh, at the at the thing here. I doubt that you can heal yourself with this, so I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna do this. It's ten units, and I'm gonna get you some more ammunition. And maybe some grenades as well. This is only six, so we'll we'll just gather everything up that we can. And we're good. And you'll just stay and wait. Don't even have enough for a shot. Can you move it? No. So you're gonna move it here. You're done, you're done, you're done. The question is, should we, should we move these two around? I don't think so. I think they should stay together. These time units are making me anxious. We go down there. And you'll help her from here, because we have some time units left to shoot if necessary. Yeah, an, an okay shot, a normal shot. Good, I think we're done. You're done, you're done. Kazmudan should only shoot in this direction because that's the closest. Don't know what's in here. I don't want to go in there, but oh god. Izzy should probably look either here or here. I'll hope she shoot anything that comes comes into sight, but we'll see. Let's have a look there. That should be fine. End my turn. Done. Wait, wait, wait. I'm alive? Oh, well, you're doing great, Gary. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Cosmodon. Then I'm doing great. Sure. Only civilians around. Best way to clean them. I didn't consent to using my medkit on him. I don't care. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's gonna happen. Oh, wait. We have different... Oh, God. You know what? Having the sniper up there could be good, though. So, Red Harvest, you're gonna go scout. This is definitely gonna go terribly, terribly, terribly wrong. I don't think you can... I, I don't know how I can see what damage cannot be repaired anymore. Let's just hope uh, it's not this one. And I think your accuracy was actually kind of garbage. Uh, which I cannot look at at the moment. That's just great. I don't know their accuracy. Well, I can do it this way. 50. Okay, no, it's not that bad. Uh, this seems fine. I want my sniper up here. I think that would be a good, good idea. 
Sure. Go here and then just crouch. And our sniper... Can't reach right now, but that's fine. Just go here. God, this is... They look at this. They're looking at a wall so they can't see shit around them. That's gonna be bad as hell. Uh, so we know high cover is 60% and everything else is 20%, I think it was. Or was it 40? No, it's 40%. The fence or something is 40%, so we can deal with that now. Okay. Um, let's just keep them together. And just crouch. You guys. Uh, there could be something here. But... No, oh, actually, if you go here, you can actually shoot someone. Just have 20... No, you will have 26 if you crouch. Good. Uh, and they cannot fire through here. They could fire this angle, but not anything that comes around. So they can't sidestep, which is kind of meh. I guess it makes sense, though. It's still meh. They can't sidestep. So gonna bring her here though. Yeah, you just stay there, girl. That's fine. I think you're done. You have one shot. You have one shot. Uh, mm, Kazmodan. It's gonna be a bad idea, but you're gonna take it. Okay. No, it's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Uh, should she, should she join him? I have no idea where anyone could be. So there, there, sh there might not be anyone here. This only has this storage, so that's fine. Uh, the story, I mean, so we're good. But back here, there probably are more of them. So what we want is for her to go here and our sniper to go up on the other side, I guess. Go there, crouch. Sniper boy is done. You're done. You're done. I guess you're done. Civilians, did you mean to say collateral? No. Would you like to know more? Military service grant citizenship? <laughs> Comes one at the front. He needs that adrenaline. That punch, you know. So, it really doesn't make any sense to stay here because you can't see anything. Maybe here? Oh, that was stupid. Right clicking, like a lunatic. Keep that corner under guard. And Izzy's gonna go here. Mm, that's not good. Um, Red Harvest, you go... Here you can still shoot and you have good cover. Nothing there, though. Nothing. I still suspect them to be here, though, so we'll we'll stay. Yeah, that's fine. Still have a shot. Sniper boy. Harry. Sniper boy. You have no idea what's down there. Is the sad thing. I don't even have secondary weapon stuff. Um. Yeah, we need to get these guys around because I don't think there's someone here. Is at least a shot. I'm still gonna look. I need to be sure. Okay, seems fine. Seems fine. I just can't do anything. You're full. That's fine, there's at least some shot. Should we be safe? Oh, it's fine, it's still shot. So you're done, easy. You're gonna go here. We need to move. Oh, these missions take forever, my goodness. Uh, yeah, it's fine, easy. it's fine. Just keep that, that corner there, under vision. Can you switch? Yeah, okay. So we'll see a bit. 
Kasmodan is fine. Let's end the turn. We don't see enemy turns, but there's still clearly enemies around, otherwise the mission would be done. Oh, there is a civilian running around. There's another civilian, that's good. And since they're not being shot at at the moment, that's fine. You know, we're good. This first mission is already going horribly, horribly wrong. Let's assume they will be there. Let's look into this direction. I hope that's a good position. It it should be very good cover and a height position should give him really good uh, shot potential. There is a ladder here. We could go down. We have no idea what's there though. But since there's nothing around here yet, I'm gonna risk it. I mean, Red Harvest, you're dead to me anyway at the moment. Okay, no one there. It's a horrible, horrible thing to say, I know. No one there. You'll crouch. If you crouch, you don't get a shot. Well, you stay in, in case there is someone there. The sniper boy is going to cover you. Uh, we don't tell Red Harvest that sniper boy doesn't have a shot, right? We, we don't tell that to Red Harvest. It's fine. We found him. The little bugger. And you're on the second story. Okay, that's interesting. How do we see him? Forty-two percent is actually not that bad, but we are not in cover, which I don't like. So we're gonna go to cover. We know where he is, so that's a good, good thing. Uh, forty-five. We can definitely crouch and look into this direction to keep him in sight. Uh, unfortunately, Harry is in the wrong position to shoot this. He might not even be able to shoot this. Let's just go into this direction. I know Red Harvest, we told you he would cover your ass, but unfortunately, that was a lie. You'll just keep looking there, you'll keep looking there. Uh, getting up there will be a problem. And it doesn't tell me if I will see someone. That's also something I don't like. Because if we have a visual on someone, we should know if, if we can see him here. Yeah, this doesn't corres this just corresponds to the whole team, not to one selected soldier, right? Indicate that the enemy is currently visible to the selected soldier. Yellow icons indicate enemies that have been seen this turn, but are not currently visible to the selected soldier. Yeah, not currently, but not, uh, you know, not projected is another thing. I mean, if this is the case, I can't see him here, right? If that that is the proje projected, no, that's not the projected thing. The projected is this. I will be able to see him from there. Okay, so that's bad. So what we want is, we want to be here so he can't see us and we can't see him. Uh, I don't know if standing up actually costs something. I'm not sure. So, Kazmodan is kinda in a pickle. Because for him to shoot anything, he needs to be very, very close. And that's not gonna be good. Unfug in the back with a with a light machine gun. Oh, that that would be so nice to just shoot that face, you know. Just shoot that little bastard with with Unfug's gun. You tell me right now. I'm not gonna tell you anything, Red Harvest. <laughs> this is this is not how this works. Gary Linda in the back, safe and sound. Let's end the turn. Let's see what that little bastard does. He he must have seen us as well. Nope. Not... He didn't go into our sight, so that's good. He's gone. Yeah, I was... I was... Guessing that that would happen. I think I'm still gonna go here. Even though I can't shoot anything, because we know he's here, so he's probably wandered into this direction. Even though you can't do anything, you might be able to do something next turn. 
Sniper play is always bad. It's always a risk. You can't be too quick by, with doing this. Because there could still be something here. Just because there wasn't something there when we last looked doesn't mean that it, something didn't wander there. So uh, We can go to this... To this ladder. Cosmodan will attempt to breach there as well. Just look here so you have everything in sight. Shooting that guy will not be great. Um, you'll go here. You can see him again. Okay, we have sight on him. Can't shoot him, really. So you'll still go here. Sad thing is our sniper can't see him. That is really garbage. But we did see him for a second there. So he vanished because... And he's not moving. So he vanished because we don't have active sight on him. If we go up this ladder to here, to this space, we can easily shoot him dead if we reach him with enough points. Same thing if we go here, we can shoot him. We have a good angle on him. So that's what I'm going to try. Uh, Izzy seems to be fine. Let's go here, Izzy. This doesn't seem to be anyone there, so you need to go into position there. You're fine, you're fine, you're fine. Red Harvest. Gather up with the others. I mean, you've been through a lot, but it's fine. Or so, uh, so says your commander, so it definitely is. Let's have you go around as well, Gerlinda. This mission is a disaster, guys. Pure disaster. Lost two people in the first few rounds. Only friendly activity. He is really not moving at all. He's not reacting to us whatsoever. So since we can't go too close to him... 32 is quite good, so let's do that. We see him. We do have a shot. Good chance. 88%. We can still crouch afterwards. Does crouching give us a bonus to shoot? It's only harder hitting. Standing shoulders are able to fire over adjacent crouch shoulders while no risk, with no risk of hitting them. So that's fine. We don't need that though. Uh, we, we can crouch afterwards. So let's do this. Best shot possible. 88%. Good shot. Well done. Uh, can't hit him again, so you'll crouch. Let's see if Cosmodan can make this happen. 19. We'll, we'll only get a snapshot, which is not great. This is 27. This could be better. 26. That at least gives you some cover. Question is, what will he do? But we have another person in position who can, who can do this. So, I'm gonna risk your life, Cosmodan. I can make anything happen if I'm in the mood to. Oh, shite. Well, apparently you're not in the mood. Um, Defender armor, shot accuracy, range modifier is okay. It's not the best, though. I'm still gonna go here. We have 20 now, for some reason. So we can do the best shot. Or not. Or you could just die. Perfect. What the shit? This little bastard. I didn't think he could do that twice. Sorry, Gasmodan. Um, yeah, and you're instantly dead. You're not even bleeding out, as it seems. I tried, Gasmodan. I tried. What can I say? And Izzy just killed him. <laughs> she just got there, boop, dead. Great first mission, guys. Great first mission. That's how I love him. Losing three soldiers for no reason at all. We got it under control, though. You know, it's just it's just 30% losses. Totally fine. That attrition rate is awesome.
Oh wow, a red harvest. Got the got the crimson heart. <laughs> if they suffer more than 30 HP of damage during a single combat mission. Well, you get plus one to all attributes, so that's good. And you also got some extra stuff, extra time units and things. Were you promoted? I think so. Well, you know, a few people got, got killed, but... Sure, it's fine. Everyone actually got some good XP here. Is that really a promotion at this... Oh yeah, it is Sergeant Major. Sergeant? Yeah, th those all got promoted, but is he? Was is he a sergeant before? Apparently. Sekton corpses, or so that was a Sekton. Captured Sekton, we got a captured one in the first mission, which is amazing. You try kill him. You know I didn't, Cosmodon. I tried to kill that little bastard that was standing there. We've got 10 alien scanners, 6 alien magnetic weapons, and 32 alien alloys. You know, we just lost 30% of all troops. That's fine. We actually rescued the locals. And we got some aliens killed. It was only six aliens against nine of us, and we lost three people. <laughs> Guys, we'll, we'll put a little cut in here. Thank you all for hopefully enjoying this. If you did, leave me a like, and don't forget to sub by YouTube, because new series and stuff, and, and I love your support, and it really, really helps. And I hope we see more of this horrendous, horrendous uh, commandeering. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you want to call this. Oh, God. See you in the next one. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Twitch as well and come to Discord. And I'll see you then. Bloop, bloop, everyone.